I am slowly but surely getting used to this whole working from home thing. Never been something I've had to do up until now. And I gotta say, it was kind of rough at the beginning. I had no idea what to do with so much freedom in my time. I'm used to waking up and going to work and doing my thing. And then I come home and I go to the gym, I make dinner and repeat the next day. Now, everything is different. Everything is different, but I think we are getting there. I think collectively as a community, as a world, we will get through to the other side. But in the interim, we still gotta work and we still gotta work from home. So I've got a couple tips that I wanna share with you guys that have been working really well for me um, and hopefully they can help you because it's a struggle. This is not an easy time we find ourselves in, but I think it's important that we have open discussions and that we share uh, with one another what works and what doesn't. So here are my tips on working from home and getting shit done. Okay, the most important thing, whether you work from home or not is a morning routine. So just because you don't have to be at work at 9 a.m. doesn't mean that you shouldn't have a morning routine. A morning routine truly sets the tone for your day. It is the foundation on which your day can build and grow and develop. So I have been abiding by my usual wake up time back when I went to work. So at 6.45 a.m. that alarm goes and it is time to get my day going. Most of the time I press snooze once or twice, but it still goes off and I get up shortly after. I get up, I have some pre-workout, I put on my gym clothes and I work out because back when I did go to work, morning workouts were my thing. So I'm sticking to that because that's what my brain is used to. That's what my body is used to. A little meditation, a yummy little breakfast, shower, and then I get going into my day. But to me, I need movement at the beginning of the day. I kind of need to just give myself a good dose of self-care, get that HIH moment in, and then I'm good. I'm good, I've accomplished that. I mean, like that's the best way to start the day, feeling accomplished. So whether you like to work out morning or night, I don't really care. All I'm suggesting here is that you find a morning routine that works for you and you stick to it on Monday to Friday. Within what I just shared as my morning routine, there are two important things I want to highlight. One, I get changed out of my pajamas. I know it's really easy and comfortable to just sit in your jammies all day, but I encourage you to change out of what you slept in. Even if you're changing into a sweatsuit, I don't care, but take off what you slept in and put on something new. It can easily be just as comfy, but just the act of taking off your pajamas and stepping into some, some regular clothes, whatever that is for you, will really do a little shift in your brain. And two, what I mentioned as part of my morning routine, is a shower. Hygiene is still important, my friends, even when we are working from home. And a shower is incredibly calming. We don't have a lot of input. We're not on our phones. We're not getting notifications from our emails. We don't see the, the laundry list, the grocery list. When we are in the shower, we are just there in the water getting clean. So not only are you gonna feel better when you come out because you're clean, but you're also gonna give yourself a little moment of quiet time to really just chill out while also doing personal hygiene. Guys, please keep up the personal hygiene, okay? I know life is rough, but like, it's important for yourself. Honestly, it's not for anybody else, it's for yourself. So now that we've got our morning routine set and we're ready for the day, what happens now? This is when you make your priority list. I want you to look at your day, look at your to-do list, whether you have a busy work schedule or you got a lot you want to accomplish at the house or you're homeschooling your kids. Pick the top three to five things that you absolutely must get done that day. And then after that, put the bonus items. But no matter what, you are focusing on that top chunk because you will feel accomplished after it. You won't be guilt ridden by not getting it done. And it feels really good to like check it off the list. Because look, even though we're working from home, there's a lot that is still happening and sometimes the days can get away from us or we lose focus, we lose motivation. But if we can tackle those top priority items, we're good. And you got your morning routine in. Once you got your list, you're cleaned, you're showered, maybe you got your workout in. Let's talk about meal time. Let's talk about breaks. Let's talk about schedules. 
even though you're working from home, I think it's important to give yourself a lunch break where you actually eat a meal. I have been known to just take a spoonful of peanut butter or have a bowl of cereal, but we all know that meals are important and ideally they should be nutritious. So when it comes to your workday lunch, even when you work from home, put in the effort to make something you're going to enjoy eating and that will fuel you for the rest of the day. An extension of the lunch break is the water situation. Have a bottle of water with you at all times because we all know how important hydration is and for me being at home it's been harder for me to get my water in at work i'm used to it like i built the habits of always drinking in between voiceovers and filming but at home i kind of forget i just end up sipping on tea and coffee all day so cheers to you we got this we will get through this and remember to drink your water something i never forget to do when i'm working from home is a uh, snack it's very easy to have a snack attack every hour of the day when you are working from home. You know, you have a little something on the table, a little bite, a little bite, a little bite. If you're a snacker like me, and it's kind of hard uh, to not snack, choose, oh, I can't believe I got that. Yeah, oh yeah, I'm sporty. Choose a healthy snack, fill your house, fill your fridge with items that you can snack on that will also be tasty, but won't be bad for you. You won't get that sugar crash. You won't get that food coma that we sometimes get that is so fun, but maybe not during work hours. So snack attack, make it healthy. And when you're having a snack, or if you're not into snacking, schedule in a break, okay? Like we talked about lunch break, but usually in a long work day, you would get a little bit of a break. And I think when we're working in a confined space, it's a little bit, different than what we're used to, I think it's important to allow ourselves to have a little break. And maybe in this break, you can get some fresh air. Um, well, of course, you know, respecting the physical distancing regulations out there, or maybe you can switch a load of laundry, or maybe you call a friend, but give yourself a little break. Cause sometimes in the afternoon we start to get sluggish, we're looking at the clock and we're like, oh, we're still working. So breaks are okay. And then you can come back and you finish your day strong. What we need to remember is that morning routines are still very important, even in this new reality. Set yourself up with a structure to your day. Look at your day and prioritize what's important. Nourish your body with a lunch that's worth having. Enjoy that snack attack, but make it good for you. Remember to hydrate, because I know I, uh, I, I get a little grumpy if I'm thirsty. I get headaches, I'm lethargic. And when you're working from home, especially now when we're staying inside a lot more, I think movement is more important than ever. I know that I miss going to fitness classes, but I am so amazed at the way the fitness community has stepped up. They have stepped up in such a big way to provide a lot of free resources so that we can still move as a community. So whether you're into meditation or yoga or HIIT classes or Pilates or bar or boxing, there are truly resources out there for everybody. So when you're making your schedule, when you're making your priority list, for me, fitness right in the morning. For you, maybe it's different, but make it a priority to move your body. Make it something that is a non-negotiable. Your body will thank you, your mental health will thank you, you, whoever you live with will thank you because we all know when we move our bodies, we come out of it feeling better. We come out of it feeling more grounded. So healthiest hot moments are truly more important than ever. And they're not just physical. If anything, if anything right now, the mental benefits of moving your body are just paramount. Oh, I forgot one. Oh my gosh, I forgot one. Where you work is very important. So I don't care if you live in a small apartment or a glorious big mansion, but where you work becomes your work environment. So create a space for yourself that is inviting, that is stimulating, and hopefully is a little bit private. Make sure your chair is comfortable. I know that's like a silly thing to say, but if you're gonna be working all day, you're gonna be sitting. So how does that make your body feel? Are you getting enough support on your back? 
How is the lighting situation? Are your eyes able to focus or is it too bright or too dim? We don't want to get too sleepy. Trust me, I've worked on my bed, I've worked on the couch. It's comfy for a little while, but then I start to like nod off and I start to get like achy. So wherever you choose to work, make sure that it's, it's gonna be good and it's gonna be supporting you physically and metaphorically on your journey to accomplishing a good day. On that note, it's time for me to get to work because I have a very exciting podcast to edit and I can't wait. So no matter when you're watching this, remember that every single Monday there's a brand new episode of the Healthiest Hot Podcast and we've been having some really great conversations. So enjoy this video, or I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm getting too excited now. And it's time for me to get to work in my new work from home situation. I'll see you guys soon. Tune into the podcast and uh, hit me up with whatever you want. I'll say hi. You say hi, I say hi. Bye, bye, bye. Okay, I need to focus. Bye.